Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. A lot of you have been asking about how I program turns and you know what do I use for you know degrees, time, rotations, and basically how would it look like in the program. So today what I'm gonna do, and be careful, not every program is the same, not every robot is the same. So try not to let this be a copycat thing, but I'm just gonna show you how to make this robot here. I'm gonna do the elevated places or the bridge. And in that, I'm gonna show you the program on how that gets done. If you wanna see that, stay with me. Okay, so let me repeat this again. You cannot copy this program and expect it to work on your robot because our robots are different. I'm assuming your robot's different. So no, this is not a, hey, everybody copy my program because obviously if your wheelbase is different, if your robot weighs a certain amount, it's gonna just be different the way the robot handles this program. So this today again is for the elevated places um, I'm going to be showing you how you might just be able to try to get onto the bridge and hopefully maybe level out at the very top. So what I'm going to do is take you to the board and show you how I would set up the program and then actually let you see the program on the computer and then run it to see if it works. So let's go to the board. Okay, so my robot's in base here and the first thing you're going to want to do is pick your spot. If you watched my other video of how to keep your robot going straight, you always want to pick a line here in base that you're going to try to follow. So um, I would have had this beam right here line up with this right here from before, but I just didn't want to run out of room here and get too close to this traffic jam. So if you can look right here, I lined it up with this corner instead. And that'll just give me a little bit more clearance as I'm heading over here to go up the elevated places or the bridge. So here's basically what I'm going to do and every robot's different so I don't think I'm giving away anything here. I'm going to go to port view and I'm just going to check out what my B motor is going to register for degrees. You guys know me, I always do degrees. So we're just going to push this robot, keep pushing, 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 pushing and um, I don't have a color sensor on this robot, but I do want it to follow this black line that's going up here. So this would be the perfect spot to do this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and get to about right here. And let me get this a little clear because I'm getting major reflection off of here. So that's going to be 2,000, sorry about that, 2,150 degrees. So now when I go to the laptop, I'm going to go ahead and put those degrees in for my forward. And then when I do this turn, it's going to kind of depend on which way you want to turn. I always do single motor turns. So when I go to the laptop, I'll just do a C motor turn um, with this outside wheel. We'll turn it. Um, some of you might decide to do a steering block where, you know, one, this would go forward, this would go backwards. Uh, so it's up to you how you do this turn. But what I'm going to do now is, I can't do this holding my phone, but what I would do is exit port view and then come back in. Because I don't want it to, I don't want to get that reading that we did from the forward. And you can see here I'm ready to pick up, sorry about this glare guys, it's super bad. So what I'm going to do is, I would hold this wheel down, basically trying not to let this rotate and I'm going to just rotate this outer wheel you know kind of you know mimicking this turn that it's going to make and then I would just check my degrees for that turn and I'll be honest with you I'm I'm always off on the first initial guess this is not super accurate but it gives me a really good number to go off of I don't want to just sit here and guess you know I just want to make sure I'm, I'm close, so if I do make a guess, I'm not super far off. So now I'm going to go back to the laptop and put this single motor turn in for the 394 degrees. And then I just want to make sure now, so I'm going to go back up into port view. Um, 
this ramp or bridge can be super unpredictable. So it kind of depends on what your goal is. If your goal is just to make it, you know, onto the, the slanted part, then we would put the 1,317 degrees. If we want to try to do the flags, then obviously we're going to try to keep going up. Oh, and I'm trying to reach. <clears throat> okay, and then, okay, if you want it to go up there, let's go ahead and check out what those degrees are. You can always try to go for the gusto here. So that is 1,800 91 degrees so you're going to have to kind of pick and choose what you want um, if you want to just get to the ramp do that 1300 if you want to try to get up here you know obviously the 1800 um, yeah i'm going to go ahead and shoot for the moon try to get the 1800 you guys have already seen the video where i came up here already but let's go ahead and put those numbers in and try this again then okay here we go sorry about the computer screen flutter but I'll make this go quick since it's only three blocks. So there's the forward that I have, 50% motor speed at 2,150 degrees. There's that C motor turn, 50% motor speed at 381 degrees. And there is the forward to go up the ramp, 50% motor speed for 1,891 degrees. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just give this a try. And I'm expecting to come back here and change some things um, but let's go give it a shot at the board and then come back and fix what we have to fix. Okay, so I went ahead and lined it up like I told you I would before. That's pretty perfect the way I had it. I'm going to go over there to the edge of the bridge because I know that it shouldn't go past the edge because we never went past it when we tested it. But I'm just going to go over there just in case it decides to do something weird. Okay. Whoa, that took off pretty fast. Okay, so like I knew, it would be really far off on those degrees because I was trying to turn it with um, holding my camera. So I'm going to have to definitely add more degrees to this turn to make this perfect. Okay, so what I did is I put my phone down and actually turned this outside C motor wheel um, to make it go up the ramp, and it was 458 degrees, which was way different than the 381 that I originally put. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to the 458 and then we'll give it another shot. Okay everybody, I put the 458 degree uh, change to that turn. Let's try this again. Okay, so where it's kind of like um, Pin the tail on the donkey. We're getting closer to what we want. And then you just kind of, you know, make small changes from there. So it looks like we didn't quite um, turn enough. So that's when you just slowly want to start adding the degrees, rotations, time, whatever you guys are using until we get this right. Okay, everybody. So there's the dreaded turn or degrees that we have to get this right. So it was at 458. I don't want to go too crazy on this. So I'm just going to try, I'm just going to go up 12 degrees to 470 now. And let's download this and hopefully let's get a better result. Okay, everybody, we're lined up again and we have the 470 degrees on here, that turn. Let's try this out now. Okay, so we're still undershooting this bridge and we're still too low on degrees. So this is a guessing game again. Um, we went 458 to 470. Let's try 480. Okay, everybody, the 480 degrees are on this robot now. Keep in mind, if something is off in base, it won't matter what you change this to. It's going to be off when you're trying to do your mission. So always, like I said, try to line this up. Um, the same every time. Okay, so we're ready for the 480 degrees. Hopefully, we'll get up this ramp. Come on, robot. Okay, 
So it didn't go as far up the ramp as we had wanted, that 1800, I think it was 1891 degrees. But you can see how just adding those 10 degrees did it, you know, did get it to turn up the ramp. So, you know, you kind of, um, that's what's really difficult about this bridge is sometimes your rotations or degrees will get messed up if the wheel slips, you know, if it gets stuck on something. Um, so you're going to have to just um, play around with the numbers to get this to be totally perfect. But that is the way that I do turns. Um, and basically how I figure out where I want to program the amounts to do a mission. So this was um, the number one mission, the elevated places. And that's good there for 20 points. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Um, I basically took you through my process. Again, it doesn't have to be your process. I took you through the process of how I would go about completing a mission. Just using the port view to figure out degrees. And, you know, if you guys are doing something else, I guess you'd have to convert it to figure out what you're going to do for time or rotations. Um, and then just how I would experiment and change things if they don't work to get it to work. So hopefully what you can do is just take my process and apply it to your robot. Because like I said, every robot's different. You cannot take, you know, a giant robot and copy my program and expect that to work because it would probably fail incredibly. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully you're still having fun with City Shaper. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.